Hello, this is Mish, and welcome to some gameplay of a title called At The Gates. This title is coming out on the 24th of January, and it's a game that's been designed by John Schaefer as a solo developer from start to finish. Um, and who is he, you may ask? Well, he is the designer of Civilization V. And why is that important? Well, Civilization, if you don't know what Civilization is, you're probably not watching this video anyway. Before I get into the gameplay, let me just point out something here. The version that I'm on. So I'm on version 0.9.9.2. And this release came out on January 19th. So just something to bear in mind. If you see bugs, it may be fixed upon release. Not, I'm not guaranteeing that, but just, just something to, to point out. Okay, so let's make a new game here. So when I immediately saw this page, I was a bit um, a bit scared, I guess you could say. Seeing a whole bunch of locked um, tribes, thinking, oh no, here we go. Here's a way to put it in in-game currency. But no, it's not that. And then I thought, oh, maybe it's actually locked because it's not ready yet. But then, no, it's not that either. So you unlock all these other tribes by actually allying with them in the game. So if I play as the Goths and I ally with the Huns, the next time I play, load the game, I should be able to use the Huns as well. So if you have a big game here, maybe we can ally with a few of these different tribes and then get access to those. So let's start with the Goths as we have no other choice here. I have played a little bit of this game just to get the basics so I can actually provide you with some information um, instead of just going blindly into the game. Okay, so here we go. We have our settlement here. And as you can see here, we have three clans that have joined our tribe. So immediately straight away. So this is on the first turn. So what we can do is, is let's have a look at the, the clans here. So with these, I'm not going to explain how the whole game works. I'll just go over the basics as they come up in game. Um, I'll do a few videos. So as, as we go along, you're going to learn it. If you're trying to find out what this game is about, um, it's probably the best way to do it. There is a good help, help menu in here, which really does go into quite a lot of detail, which is which I do recommend do that if you do buy the game. But anyway, so, okay, so one of these clans has joined our tribe. So what we can see straight away is they come with traits. So this character here is confident, so the morale is increased by half. Um, and he has struggles to learn social professions, unfortunately. And it is a strong clan as well. Um, so it takes less to train in warrior professions and a few other things there. And he has plus one in power. So this immediately for me will be a kind of a warrior that I would want to train. So I'll keep I'll keep him going. So next one, here we go, another one. So this character here, Godefroy, I don't know how you say that, Godefroy, um, is sensitive and dramatic. It's a real new age character, this one. So might very rarely engage in mild feud. So one thing I have noticed with playing this game a few times is every now and again you'll get two clans, say the one we just looked at before, the, the, uh, the Warfare clan and this one here, they may feud and get angry and they may want you to punish um, another one of the, the clans. And you do that by taking away their training. Um, you can restore their um, happiness as well by possibly giving them some alcohol. So quite an interesting little um, spin on um, this type of game. Okay, so you're sensitive and dramatic. And we'll go to the next one. And what do we have here? Fastidious and doubtful. So starts with honor and no experience gained in discovery. Interesting. So as you can see, all of these um, clans that are joining us have different traits, which does definitely play onto what we're going to use them for. So let's just go over the user interface here. So down in the bottom left we have, we can pack up and move our settlement if we want, but that's not a good idea at the moment. We can fortify if we have the resources, um, order the settlement to move to another one. So after we pack up, you move, or you can just skip the turn entirely. Top left we have um, how many clans we have. So currently we have those three out of 12. We can increase this if we want. And it is one turn until we get another clan join us. You can also increase the, the speed at which clans join you, but that's kind of a bit later in the game. We have the just general score of what's going on here, um, our gold and our food. Food is very important in this game and I really like how it works because it's more of a thing of food. You have to get enough food to last you to the winter. Now there is a specific, um, I guess it's an evolving map. It, it fluctuates dependent on the seasons, which is very cool. And you'll see that play out shortly. Um, but first thing, let's study profession. So first thing we really need to do, if we look around the map, what have we got here? A couple of bushes over here. We don't know what they are. We haven't discovered them yet, but that looks like that's a, 
um, patchy berries. So we can harvest those if we have a harvester. Uh, but we also have these here, which could be berries, they could be wheat. So we'll, and it, there's a big field over here actually. So a vast field of wheat. So we'll definitely start off with training in agriculture. And also it makes sense as well, unless you have a lot of livestock kicking around, I'll probably go for that one by default. Okay, so that's doing that. And then we can train the clan in that profession that we choose. So if we go train a clan in profession, so we can choose here, so we can choose to put a person as a gatherer, so they're gonna get those berries, or as a reaper, so they're gonna get that corn or the wheat. But let's start with the gatherer because we know that there's definitely some berries down the bottom. And we'll use this person here because I wanna make this person a warrior or a hunter, El, El Edilbert, and good Froy, um, I'll make into yeah, so Tishka. So she's training to be a berry picker, you could say. And that's the end of the turn. So, you know, same as civilization at this point, there's very little to do off straight off the bat, but it's enough that you kind of get an idea of what's going on and you just start assessing your surroundings. So let's finish the turn. Okay, so here we go. We have another clan has joined our tribe. And once again, we can see the traits there. So reclusive and stubborn. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with you just yet. It looks like he's been in a couple of wars as well. And sometimes they say interesting stuff as well. This isn't exactly where we would we were headed, but I'll be damned if we're going back out there. We'll be staying. Do you know some good touches with the characters in there? They change as well, so it seems as, as if the the clans the traits are different per the picture. So you're not always going to get this character here. Valborg is going to be reclusive and stubborn. It seems to be all um, random, so that's quite nice. Okay, so we have now. Gained. There we go. So we've learnt the agriculture. So we can actually increase a few things. So we can start with winemakers. But at, at this point, you wouldn't want to do this. At this point, you really you really are concentrating on that food. So as you can see, we're already gaining minus one, and we only have fourteen to go. So I'm gonna because I definitely know the gathering is there. I'm gonna just bump this up a little bit so we can increase that. But that needs tools, and we don't have any at the moment. So that may have been pointless, but that's all right because. There is another thing which you probably will see. We'll get a caravan will arrive soon and we can spend some gold. So hopefully we can actually buy some tools. Okay, so the gatherer is still building and the we're actually training in, in gatherers as well. Do we want to change anything here? So we could switch this character to something else, but no, I'm happy with that. I'll just leave that alone and finish in turn. There we go. Okay, so now we have a, a movable character. Okay, so here we go, what I was talking about before, around the feuding. So these two clans are feuding and becoming upset, so they want me to do something about it, but I'll just leave that for now, um, and I'll just get this character here down to the berries. So the same as civilization here, just select and move. Um, I've actually, it didn't go too well because I possibly should have gone this way, but this character, it, the 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 environment really is quite a factor here. So the marsh there has slowed the character down. If it went this way, it would be a lot quicker. The same as Civilization, but it just seems to punish you a lot more in this game, the environment and moving over the environment. Okay, so we have a new clan joined here, and this one didn't say anything. It's a pretty cool picture. I really do like the watercolor art style as well. Uh, you'll see more as the, the map kind of gets bigger as we explore more, but even just the pictures of the characters is, is quite cool. So once again, another someone else that's dramatic and a peddler. Okay, so we're not training at the moment. I think what we need is this character here to be, at the moment, we'll make them a hunter. Now there's more to this as well, because whilst he, that the character is training as the, the profession is going to be a hunter, you have the discipline as well. So the discipline is, I guess it ties into one and the same. So when this character is finished training, I can click on this and do this and add a discipline. So if it would make sense with this character to add honor because I'm probably gonna make it a warrior at some point. Um, but you could give it things like ag agriculture or livestock. But as you can see, the bonuses for that kind of don't really make sense here. So you really need to in tune um, the discipline with the profession. And you can mix it up if you want, if you've got, I guess, an end goal to swap them, but for that's kind of how I make sense of that anyway. Okay, but we'll leave that as it is. So there we go. So we're still training that gatherer uh, upgrade and we're training a hunter. Okay, so now we have a hunter. So this hunter can, we can send us off to find, it's 
it's not as good um, as, a, as an explorer, but it does, it does, I guess, two, two things. It can explore and it can fight, but also if you find some food for it to have us, it can do that. It can forage food. Um, this character here, we cannot move it for some reason. I think this, um, the, the tile has really affected it, so the marsh has really slowed it down. I don't know the indicator for that, unfortunately. I don't know why that's not actually moving there. But anyway, so let's go back and train someone else. I think whilst whilst we have a hunter, it would be nice to get someone um, that is an explorer. So it's it's interesting. You need to make sure you pick the right um, traits for the right thing. So the character with the right traits that are going to suit what they're going to do, which is, it's a, it's a fine balancing act. And it's, it's real nice that you can't just gung ho it and just do whatever you want. You really have to try and pick it out. So this character here, um, I'll probably make them another hunter because hunters, just the amount of food that they can make, um, is very beneficial to start off with. And that character has by default, um, already for honor so it just makes sense as well there's another thing as well which is the the clans can actually increase in size as as you can see there the clan will grow grow to two families in nine turns so the more uh, the bigger the clan gets with the population the families the more food that they need but in saying that the more powerful they are for fighting and for resource production once again it's that balancing act there which is quite nice a lot of micromanagement so let's finish in turn Okay, so now we have two hunters. I'll send this one up this way. As you can see there, the I guess the map does indicate that um, the difference of the surroundings there is what what are you gonna how easy it is for them to move around. And you can see as well the um, the hexagons as well of what way you can move. And this character, there we go. So you can see I can now move this character to the berry bush and it's it's already been identified. Some of them are already identified. These ones aren't. So you need to go to that and identify the plant. But this one is already identified, so I can just forage it straight away. So there we go. So our food is no longer in the negative. So if I just get one more forager to check these um, unknown plants out, these two hunters can go hopefully go find some food. And maybe I'll get someone to get these stones as well. Okay, but I think for now they are done. So we have got a new clan member, Green Thumb. Okay, so straight away, they start with good, ag good agriculture. So that can be the next gatherer. Um, disfigured. Can it be trained in social professions? Uh, they're great, these traits. Some of them are actually very funny. It's quite nice. Okay, so not training. So let's have another. Actually, we'll make a reaper. Because though we're not sure what those other things are. And the reaper is obviously handy for that um, over there, that vest of wheat. Okay, so let's go back to here. And we'll make you a reaper. Here we go. Okay. Study profession. So we have another profession here. I think I really do like the stuff in here. The discovery, because it can really lead to some interesting um, professions. Not to overwhelm you, but I'll quickly just show you this in here as to all the things that are available. So whilst you think, okay, that's quite, there's a couple of things there. That's quite nice. So we have bards, traders, surveyors, law keepers, and you know, the same for all of them. So with the wood collectors, um, you can be a crafter, you can be a woodcarver, uh, with, you can, with uh, diggers. So once you get the metal out of the ground, you can have metalworking weapons. Um, with livestock, you can be obviously concentrate on cattle, fishermen, ranchers, trappers. Once again, this is the agriculture side of stuff. And this is the honor, the, I guess the combat, if you want to say that. But it also has a few other things there. It has the hunters and a few other things. And whilst that's quite cool, it actually isn't all of it. So press it again. And there we go. So that's that's the full amount of things you can do. So a real plethora of things in here. And it's interesting too, all the different things, all the different outputs, the pr things that they produce. Like this one here is something I want quite soon because this produces fame. Fame is actually how you increase the amount of clans that join you. So if you have fame, the clans are going to join you all the time. I won't go for that straight away because I want to increase my maximum of clans I can have to 24 and then I'll hit and then I'll get some bards but pretty cool okay anyway back to this so let's show less it's a little bit too much there but I'll start with discovery so we can actually start on that road and now let's go one more turn here okay 
Okay, cool. So we have met the picks and the caravan has arrived and we now may switch as well, switch someone to discipline. So let's meet the picks. So once again, a real, really nice watercolor art style. Very cool. Uh, you know, the whole aesthetic of the game is like this and it all looks very cool. Oh, so there we go. A bit of a bug there. Approach error. Um, but anyway, you get the idea here. So straight away, we can say, okay, well, it's nice to meet you. Um, because what have they said to us? Greetings, stranger. I seek a fair and friendly relationship with you. Are you of similar mind? Yes, I am. And I have a gift for you. Sometimes that can be negative. It depends on obviously who they're friends with uh, and who they've seen. They have one enemy already. Oh, it's me. That's not very nice. I haven't done anything to them. <laughs> okay, so since I'm the only person they've actually met, I'll give them a gift. But obviously, the same as civilization, you can just say hello, or you can give them a gift straight away. So I'll give them, I don't want to give them too much food, as I, that'll just kind of get us through maybe two winters. So I'll give them some treasure. There we go. So I've lost 10 gold, and they have it. Uh, unexpe unexpected, but appreciated. Thank you. And then what else do we have as well with this? So the caravan has arrived. Now the caravan is quite vital, especially in the early game that I found. Um, things that you need straight away is parchments. So they upgrade the um, with the dis disciplines. So you can use disciplines to automatically upgrade. So use the parchments to automatically upgrade the disciplines, sorry. Okay, but here's the tools. So this, we can get this. And what is it going to cost us here? So we'll buy five twenty-five gold. We can we can do that, and I'll buy some parchments as well for thirty gold. That's, that's okay. Um, and then if we go back to this character here, see here we go. So we can use those five tools to upgrade this gatherer by plus one. So if we do that, this should hopefully creep up a little bit. Here we go. So now it's at plus two. So there we go. So that's how you can quickly, I guess. Get your basic your basic clan um, characters up to to a more proficient amount anyway. Okay, so we've really just scratched the surface here, but I want to leave this video here as it's already gotten over 15 minutes. So I'll make another video straight away. So check the end of the video for the link so you can keep going if you want to, if you want to learn more about this game, if you're still undecided if you want to purchase or not. Once again, follow me along here. You're very welcome. If you've not, if you've finished here, if you've seen enough and you want to buy it, um, thanks for watching and leave us a feedback below. Subscribe for future content. And once again, this game has been at the gates and it's done by John Schaefer. Should be on Steam on the 24th of January. But if you don't join me for the next video, thanks for watching and goodbye.